Hi, everybody. It's Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe. And today, our friend Sarasota Tim is just spreading positivity like you cannot imagine. He is in such a happy place. It is contagious. Anyway, before we watch uh, Tim actually rant about how much he hates hater channels, and I guess I'm part of that equation, let me get out my disclaimers so that we can make this into fair use. And as we know, this is just my opinion. This is my opinion only. And we are going to be transforming this amazing content that he's sending out to us today. And even though I am a registered nurse trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I do not treat or diagnose anybody in these videos. In fact, all I really do is try to highlight how people with certain personality traits use social media in order to engage with an audience to their advantage. And Tim is somebody who, over the past year or so, has been able to build up a sufficient number of followers who tend to give him a lot of free stuff. And he talks about them regularly on the channel. I don't know what is, you know, potentially triggering him today. I don't know if it's because people have said things about how he was relating with Johnny Vegas's wife and how he was inappropriately touching her and obviously making her feel very uncomfortable. I don't know if he and Tammy have had any spats. He seems quite unhappy that he is headed back to Florida and that is because Miss Tammy even though she came out to visit, she obviously wants to be close to her family and he is not on the same page as she is. But I guess if he wants to get into a house and Tammy is the person with the majority of the resources to do that, he's going to have to placate Miss Tammy. And it was telling to me, and I watched only the video between um, Johnny Vegas's wife, and I'm trying to respect her privacy by not using her name. And uh, Tammy is that he referred to her as beautiful and did not say the same about Tammy in the same video. And if I were the person's partner and they were calling some other man's wife beautiful and then not saying that about myself, you know, even if they don't feel that way, I'd be a little bit upset, I guess, as a partner. Um, so I don't know what's happened. He seemed quite annoyed when he had to pick up her, uh, McDonald's zing and, uh, had to get her biscuit. He kind of tossed the biscuit to the side. He's obviously going on about gas prices, cheap stays. He seems to have been upset about recent, uh, political events. And I am not a political channel. And I did not think Tim was a political channel, but he is just, I mean, his, his content is everywhere. <laughs> Let's be honest. He says he's an RV minimalist. And if you look at the back of this uh, truck here, there's nothing minimalism about Mr. Tim. Okay. There's nothing about that. So anyway, I've talked enough. Let's, uh, but I just wanted to catch people up because some people only watch me and don't watch Tim. So, and I don't know if that's upsetting him as well. Um, but we'll find out. All right, let me get over there. I'm actually gonna, uh, maybe I'll keep him at normal speed just to hear the real sort of tone and intonation that he is using today. Um, so take it away, Tim. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim. I'm sitting here parked in a rest area on I-40 waiting for Miss Tammy to come back from powdering her nose. Mm. I thought I would just check in and wanted okay. to remind everybody. Am I at 1.25? Oh, I am at 1.25. Sorry about that. Let me go to normal speed because I was like, oh, he's really going fast today. Um, I don't think the term powdering her nose, I don't know what uh, century you're in. Um, I don't know if that's just you, you're rubbing your hands. So you've obviously got stuff to say. You always call it powdering her nose. Why don't you just say she went to the bathroom? You know, we know what's going on. Why don't you just say she went to the bathroom? <laughs> Or just not say anything at all. What about that? <laughs> that actually might be better. Because it's kind of a uh, sort of a little bit of a um, dig at, at Tammy, Tim. And I don't know if you realize you're doing it. And uh, sometimes women, you know, if you're drinking caffeinated drinks, like the zings that she likes to have, it could be, and she's had children, it can make, you know, women's bladders weaker. 
So just stop being rude about it. I just think it's rude. All right. Keep continuing. I to continue praying for our country and for the uh, families of those that lost the individual yesterday at that uh, Trump rally yes. and for uh, former President Trump and for the two people I understand that are fighting for their lives. Violence and hate, folks, are getting out of control. And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I never talk about it because what's the point? You're not going to stop. These people that are making YouTube videos regarding my channel that don't even know me. and We don't need to actually know you, Tim, per personally, because you put out about everything in 10 videos a day at this time. And you do display certain personality traits that and your speech patterns, the words you choose, how you manipulate your audience. It's all there to see. It, all the lies that you have told your audience are there to see. You were dishonest in reality about being a minimalist. You used uh, that particular type of video and tags in order to bring people to your channel because at the time you doing the minimalism was trending so you were finding topics on youtube in order to engage an audience to your channel so and then you were quite open about how you acquired an eidl loan you did not have a business at that time in fact you have been out of work claiming unemployment for a couple of years and then turned around and got an EIDL loan. So that it was information that you provided people with. And you probably took the EIDL loan, in my opinion, under fraudulent circumstances because you did not have a business that would have needed $60,000 to have been kept open. And was there any business expenses that you put this money to, like employee salaries? Or did you purchase uh, campers and cars and, and depreciating assets, trucks? You've been able to make a lot of money from YouTube. And I guess you are upset because we recently did a boycott. I don't know. Keep going, Tim. You seem very angry today. I don't understand it. Uh, are they, people say they're jealous. People say they're just trying to make YouTube channels. They just want to make money. But I kind of have to summarize it with what I saw and it felt like there's 20. No. The reason why I personally have a channel is because I can see certain personality traits that you have that you use to manipulate vulnerable, lonely, and potentially elderly people out of their money. And you were making a lot of money on your buy me a coffee getting a lot of people to send you money for lidocaine patches, for golf clothes, you name it. And then you were also trying to say you were paying it forward to other people. And the times that you supposedly paid it forward and we actually saw you bring out a credit card and we still have questions as to whether that's Tammy's credit card or not. You were so upset to even spend $11. But you've had hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in a single month go your way to your buy me a coffee. You've tried to use religion to manipulate people. You sit out there doing daily devotionals and crushing it for Christ and all of these different things to have people think that you're this good God-fearing Christian man when you took no time to care for your own family. So you yourself are a very problematic individual. And when people are problematic, reaction channels like my own are going to come in and say something in order for people not to fall for your flim flam. Year old that uh, tried to assassinate uh, Donald Trump. I think that he's got them. These people have mental cases. This 20 year old was a. You are not somebody who can treat or diagnose anybody, Tim. And it is potentially a number of factors, and I don't know enough about this young man to say anything. So I'm going to leave the politics out of this equation. And I, I did not think that you had a political channel, but you're bringing politics into it and you're trying to equate grown adults like myself who are highly educated in the same vein as a young person who obviously was not in 
his good place that day. And that's all I'm going to say in regards to that, because I've not evaluated him to actually give any type of diagnosis or what could be the factors that led up to that event. And that's where I'm going to leave that. But you're going to talk about it with no expertise. So go ahead. This is why you're problematic. Sure, Republican gave donations to the Democratic Party, but yet he was only 20 years old. He knew that he wasn't going to climb down off that roof with his gun and jump on his bicycle or his car and ride home and, you know, and go about his day. So he obviously had mental issues. He knew. Um, that's for somebody who was trained to be able to diagnose. We have had in the past people tried, if you do remember, there was a gentleman who tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan. Uh, obviously we know that, um, JFK was assassinated. So presidential assassinations or assassination attempts, sadly, are not a new phenomenon in the United States. Oh, somebody tried to assassinate Abe Lincoln too. <laughs> so we can go really far back in history. So it's just part of kind of what we deal with in society. So it's, it's nothing new, Chairman. It's not about hate channels. You're off on a tangent. He was going to die that day. But rather than being, you know, he's a coward, instead of just sh blowing his own brains out because he's so unhappy and he's so jealous of other people or so whatever he was, his mental problem, he wants to take people down with him. And these people that are making these YouTube channels are absolutely in the same category. Oh, they are, th what they say oh, and okay. do. No, we are not in the same category. And the fact that you have the audacity to try to even say we're in the same category because you in your narcissistic personality traits feel attacked by channels who try to highlight to people your problematic ways is a very different issue than obviously what occurred in this event. So the fact that you're trying to link the two together, they have nothing to do. They're totally separate. You yourself are just feeling persecuted at this time, Tim. You're having your, in my, and I'm not treating a diet, narcissistic persecution happening here because you are happily going about your day, being able to get lots of views, make lots of money from YouTube, be able to get people to send inordinate amounts of money to buy me a coffee, persuade people you were this good religious guy and you were just this great guy. And it came to light and reaction channels, and this is what we do, have found out that's not the case. And are highlighting that to people. That's what's happening. From what I've heard, and I don't watch them, but I've been hearing, they those people are seriously mental people. They've got a serious, serious problem. And so the only thing that I would recommend is just like this media that wants to, you know, spin this whole story is don't watch it. We saw, we saw what happened. It's over. Now let's just pray and let's just pray and let God sort them out. And these channels that are out there, folks, not just on my uh, picking on me, but other people, these crazy people that have no life please folks don't watch them what do you mean no life i'm a graduate student trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner i have over a decade working as a registered nurse here in the united states <laughs> i have all of these i don't think i put that in my disclaimer today but i have all of this professional i promise you i have a life tim i do this because one it's a hobby and two, when I feel that there's misinformation or certain, like I said, personality traits who are manipulating people and manipulating an audience, then I call it out and I highlight it. I think you would have found that yesterday, if you had joined my live stream, I was talking about people not using their insulin medications correctly or their diabetes type 2 medications correctly. So I think you're in a wrong understanding of this at this time tim keep going click on those three dots and tell youtube not to recommend the channel to your feed don't be enticed or you know you know wanting to watch cnn and fox and these channels please don't do it 
Not because it makes me money or doesn't make me any money. It's just I'm well, how did you find out about what happened with this event yesterday if you were watching a news channel? I promise you, I only just I hadn't watched any news yesterday. I was so busy. And then the only reason why I found out anything happened was because I was I saw your video say something about hate and haters, and I knew it was probably indicating myself and other reaction and parody channels. And that's where I discovered that this event took place. So I found out through you, Tim. <laughs> Because <laughs> I promise you, when it comes to this time of year and all the political shenanigans going on and it's constantly on the news, I promise you, I just switch off. I have so much to read and study. Anyway, keep going, Tim, because I have to get back to my books. Thinking of you, because they're poisoning your brain. They're poisoning your mind. Your mind is not a garbage can. Theirs is. They are full of whatever, but it's horrible. It's just horrible. And I mean, it's one thing to criticize and make points that are valid or I don't know, but gosh, what I hear, this is absolutely vehement, hatefulness, demonic craziness, and <laughs> it's growing. And wow, you really brought out your thesaurus for that description. <laughs> this kind of thing must stop because violence and hatred uh, in our country needs to end, folks, in all aspects not just on uh, people making YouTubes about Sarasota Tim, but this whole thing that we saw yesterday is a prime example of how the media is getting people and how YouTube channels is making people. How, I mean, we didn't have media happening when uh, John Hinckley attempted to assassinate Ronald Reagan. D they, he watched a movie with Jodie Foster in it. <laughs> well, I understand. That's what he said. And he had a copy of Catcher in the Rye. And, or was he the one who went after um, John Lennon? Okay, I might be mixing up my... Or was it more... Anyway, put it in the comments. I know one of them was President Reagan and another one was uh, John Lennon. <laughs> I think the one that was President Reagan happens to live near my area. I can't remember. It was a long time ago, back into the 80s. <laughs> So was it Mark Chapman? Mark Chapman, was he the one who tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan? That Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. John Hinckley, wasn't he the one that assassinated John Lennon? Well, either way, the, social media was not a thing in those days. Neither was YouTube. So I guess my point is, is that these are the problems that we have been dealing with in a societal level for quite some time. So what ends up, you know, it just happens that this it was in a political climate. So, as I said, I've never examined who this young man was, so I can't speak to his mental health, and neither can you, Tim. Act with violence. And, you know, do you want the country to come unglued, or do you want the country to be healed? Remember, we're all human beings. Pray for happiness, goodness, and healing for our country. Pray for those folks that lost lives yesterday, the, the families. Uh, pray for everything good, folks. Do not jump on the bandwagon. Do not uh, create more hate. Quit spreading it. Quit talking about it. Quit watching it. Purge it from your life. I don't pay attention. Well, you're the one who talks about it more than anybody. <laughs> I'm just going to say. You're the one who talks about it more than anybody, Tim. I need to take my auto off real fast because it's going to it's going to cut. I don't know. Somebody said, look at my things. Anyway, let me not do that. I just want to make sure I stop you before something else flashes up. But you're the one spreading the hate at the moment and talking about it. So maybe not make content. Uh, who's monetizing what here, Tim? To it. And my life is way better. So that's the only thing I wanted to tell you. And I How? I actually have a condo that's got heavy equity in it. And you've got an RV trailing in the back of your car that you've got probably from an illegally obtained EIDL loan, in my opinion. So how is your life so much better? I think that's uh, a misnomer on your behalf, Mr. Sarasota Tim. I, I haven't been noticing, but I've been getting people telling me lately that there's more of these hateful channels. And after what happened yesterday, I have to tell people and remind you. We are a reaction channel here. 
And I react to your cult of personality and your use of charisma to manipulate lonely, vulnerable, and potentially elderly people. And people who are actually seeing how much money you make and how you are using the YouTube platform primarily for your benefit. Do I benefit through other items? Like I got a brand deal? Absolutely. But I'm honest about it. I'm honest about what I make. You've never once said how much money YouTube makes you. I showed my earnings the other day. I have no problem doing that. I showed that I had a brand deal. I have no problems doing that. Thank you very much. I My viewers for helping me get there. So I think that you don't understand how the YouTube platform works. And if you become a problematic locale, then you are going to have reaction channels. And if other people see that these reaction channels are being able to gain success with making content around you, Tim, then it's going to end up having more reaction channels. I didn't know how many people were reacting about you. I just saw you go butt naked in front of a refrigerator and realized that you really had some problems. That if you were somebody who felt comfortable filming while in the buff, then I needed to start looking at your personality a little bit closer and what you were doing. And then I just realized how manipulative you were. That's why I'm here. And it's fascinating for me as somebody who's studying psychiatric mental health to see how you potentially have narcissistic personality traits. This is just my opinions. I'm not treating diagnosing. You know, the media is terrible and it's sucking people in. They're really going to be sucking a lot of people in after this horrific thing yesterday. Well, then turn off the TV. Turn it off and don't watch all, all that other stuff either. Crush it. Oh, he mad today. He is so mad today. Oh, hello. Uh, he is so. I meant to turn the auto off. He is. He is spitting today. All right, guys. I promise to make these quick. So make sure that you subscribe, hit the likes. Uh, you know, obviously be kind to one another out in public. Um, we're obviously going through a tough time in the country, and we do need to make sure we're just smiling and saying hi to one another. I certainly do appreciate everybody who is a member of my community. Let me give a shout out to The Good Life and to The Best Vibes crew. I did get some new members yesterday, so I want to thank you guys for joining me on that. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later.